Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's literally, oh my gosh. What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more modded Subnautica. We're doing the things. We're doing the stuff. Uh, open storage. We got to get all this stuff going. You know what? I'm gonna post. I'm gonna crank this up a little bit. Let's crank that up a little bit, shall we? Anyways, we're back. We're doing some more things. We are gonna continue upgrading the Cyclops, but today I want to get that laser cannon for it. That's gonna be like the primary focus. Uh, if we can get some other upgrades for it in the process, that'd be fantastic but the laser cannon is going to be the focus. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure you leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Where is the laser cannon? Okay, so we need the torpedo arm. So I am gonna head over to where the torpedoes arm, torpedo arms were that I didn't get because I thought we already got them, but we did not. I'm gonna grab some food. I'm gonna grab some water and I'm gonna head over there and you guys are gonna watch this wonderful ad from today's sponsor. And a huge shout out for today's sponsor, Displate. Displate is a one of a kind metal poster designed to capture what you love and print them on a nice metal canvas. Now there's two finishes, there's gloss and matte. I prefer the matte because as you see, I have bright lights in front of me, yet you can still see the picture fantastically. It's great, it's fantastic. And setup takes absolutely no time at all because they're metal, so they're held up with magnets. You peel the sticker, you stick it to the wall, you stick your display to the wall. It's fantastic. And because of this metal mounting system, they can be swapped out in literally seconds. They come in all different sizes. As you can see behind me, I have some hung up right there. They range from small to extra large, and you can pick between thousands of designs. They've got designs ranging from gaming to space to anime to cat pictures, Mandalorian stuff, absolutely everything you could want. I suggest checking it out, seeing what they have, seeing what they want. Make sure you use the link down below. And with every displate sold, they are actually giving back to the community. Because with every displate you buy, they actually plant a tree in return. So you get a poster that looks amazing, that will last forever, and you get to plant a tree. What's not to love? It's a win-win. So make sure you check out the link down below. Support displate, support creators like myself. Thank you again, displate, for sponsoring this video. Go get yourself a nice metal canvas. And let's get back to the episode. All right, so we're back over here. Um, now, we saw some arms somewhere chilling, and I was like, oh, I don't need that anymore. And I thought it was the torpedo arm. Maybe it was a uh, drill arm. We already got the drill arm, right? Was that, we already got that, I'm almost positive. Let's just scan it to make sure. Pretty sure we already got the drill arm. Okay, now we, <laughs> Now we have the drill arm. <laughs> um, okay, and then you know what? Hold on, let's head straight down here because this is where I went before uh, last time to find the stasis rifle. And I thought there was some more, uh, I thought there was more more things down here that I just kind of left alone. Get out of here, go away. I just take those things out before they become a problem because it seems like I've been having issues with them. Like, like ganging up on me. They're terrible, they're jerks, I'm telling you. Uh, okay, so that's where I found my stasis rifle piece at. Hmm, you know, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Okay, hold on. There's another spot. Get out of here. There is another spot. It is in the blood kelp area. And there is... Let me... Let's go over there and take a peek. I don't think it's this blood kelp area that I've been going to. But there's a blood kelp area that actually has a crash. Uh, kind of like across a valley kind of thing. And it might be, it might be the one that we've been going to. And I just kind of like never really looked for that wreck. Actually, hold on. Let's pull out the map here. Uh, I bet it's that one right there. Yep, it probably is. Let's go over there. Okay, let's see. So the wreck that I'm thinking about is usually pretty deep down in here. And it's like I said, it's, it's across a valley thing. Okay, maybe... Maybe we are in the right spot. I gotta make sure my laser cannon is equipped at all times. Uh. Hmm. You know, I don't think this is it over here. Because I think the wreck over here is... Well, maybe not. Yeah, I'm not seeing over here. This is a life pod. Okay, so that wreck is identifying as a life pod. That's, that's fantastic. Okay, I don't think it's in this blood kelp area. I think it is. I think it's over in this one. 
Ugh, maybe. Let me look around again. I just want to make sure. I hate to go all the way across the map to just have missed it. You know what I mean? All right. So second blood kill period. Actually, it's technically the first one. The other one I was in was actually the secondary one. Now, let's see here if I can find it. It might be this wreck right here could be let's go let's kind of move over this way a little bit and look no i don't think well hold on a second does it go off into a deeper area down here yeah this isn't the one i thought of but hey you know what if there's uh there's some pieces down here i'll take it is that a power cell charger oh buddy oh buddy i mean i guess i don't really need a power cell charger but I guess they're really handy to have anyway, so yeah, you know. Oh, actually, hello there. <laughs> that is a torpedo arm fragment. Hey, look at that. We got it. Um, Okay, but since we're over here, I want to try getting the rest of the prawn suit arms. That way we don't have to do this again. Uh, Is there anything else good over here? I'm not really seeing anything. I really need to get the grapple arm too. And the grapple arm is, as far as I know, in this wreck somewhere. Oh, we've already collected that data box. Interesting. <gasps> yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. Uh, I think there's a wreck. Yeah, <laughs> it's coming up underneath of it. Get out of here. Get out of here, Warper. Yeah, that's right. I'll, I'll take you out. I'll take you out. Okay, I think this is where I was looking for. This is exactly it. Okay, so we got drill arms. We got torpedo arms. Uh, let's open the storage up right here. See what we get out of this guy. Uh, looks like we already knew what we got. Darn it. That's unfortunate. Uh, and then let's see. Nuclear reactor. I already got the nuclear reactor. We don't need that. Drill arm. Don't need that. Bronze suit torpedo arm. Don't need that. We are looking for grapple arm fragments because I thought they were over here, but I could be wrong. Torpedo, torpedo. They might be inside of that wreck. Mm, I'm not so. Oh, hold on. Nuclear fragments, torpedo arm. Maybe the grappling arm's not over here. Yeah, I'm not seeing the grappling arm over here. Hey, you know what? We got what we needed. We can go work on the. Uh, yeah, we can go work on the we can go work on the the Cyclops cannon now. I also have to come and grab those later. Not actually sure where those are at. I feel like I always came over here to look for them, but I must never have found them. <laughs> All right, we've arrived. So we need to make that prawn suit or the the cannon. Now I need a prawn suit torpedo arm, which means I need five lith or just five titanium. Okay, that should be easy enough. We've been gone long enough. I should have five titanium in here. I have 34. Oh my gosh, that's the best thing ever. All right, perfect. So titanium is good to go. Now, uh, let's see, I have to make that. Can I can't make that in here. No, it's a vehicle thing, right? I have to make it over here. Yeah, pretty sure. Prawn suit, torpedo arm. Absolutely. Wait, can I make Cyclops stuff in here? No. Okay. So we got the torpedo arm. Uh, what do we need for laser cannon? Oh, I need two torpedo arms. Two ion cube. Oh gosh. Okay, two torpedo arms. Uh, we need some ion cubes. This is already full. Jeez Louise. Take all of that. All right, do your thing there, guy. Two advanced wiring kits and was it two computer chips? Oh my gosh, guess what? We have everything we need. Let's go check it out. Let's check it out. Now, I'm curious if this is the exact same type of laser cannon that is on the Cyclops, or not the Cyclops, the Seamoth, um, or if it's going to be something entirely different. I want to see. I am so excited to check this out, though. All systems online. All systems online. I'm glad to hear it because you're about to get a cannon upgrade a laser cannon upgrade <laughs> oh what's it gonna do all right access upgrades laser cannon 
has been equipped. Okay, so is it the same thing as engines online? Cyclops laser cannon. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's literally, oh my gosh, it is. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Wait, what? Oh, you can see them. <gasps> That's the laser cannon. Oh my gosh, hold on. We've got to back out of this. Uh, shut it off. Hold on, I want to see, I want to see this from the outside. Oh, no way, it actually puts them on there. This is gonna be super cool. Oh, they're totally right there. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, how I love it. I want to see if there's one on the top. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. It's literally, it's the torpedo arm reskinned with some precursor or like some uh some alien tech stuff and then what is that a power it's like a power adapter <gasps> that is so cool though oh my gosh we gotta go wreck something with it uh you know what though i really could use a shield and stuff like that first oh it's so cool it is so cool laser cannons oh my gosh how epic is that like it's like a it's like you're in a like a turret seat this is pretty cool this is this is pretty cool. <laughs> I am like thoroughly, thoroughly thrilled of this. How much power does it take? I wonder. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's go find something to. We gotta go find something to shoot with it. Hold on. Uh, sound horn. No. I want to. It was this. That's a camera. Where's my lights? Oh, there we go. All right, we just gotta find something. Like, I really just don't even care what it is. Like, I would I would be happy taking out like a gas pot or something, you know? Gosh, I don't see anything. I don't see like anything anywhere. Okay, you know what? Engine let's do a couple. Power. Let's get a couple of upgrades on here before we actually, um, before we go out and take this out because I really want to get the shield module and I want to get the shield module. We need to get a depth module too. I don't, I, we got to figure out how to get that. I'm gonna, I'm, we're going to be visiting the wiki. Uh, sonar upgrade would be cool. The Cyclops fire suppression system. Like I feel like we should, we should probably just put that on here just in case. Don't need a bioreactor. We already have laser cannons. Uh, we already have that. We already have that depth module, engine efficiency module. We already have maxed that out. So shield sonar, uh, aero jewel and crystal and sulfur. You know what? Let's get those. Let's get that real quick because that's super easy and we already have the stuff for those. You know, I actually don't know if I have any crystal and sulfur. Cave sulfur. I don't think I have any crystal and sulfur. Um, I know where to get it. But I might need the prawn suit. Oh, you know what? Hold on a second. People were telling me I could put the prawn suit arms on the sea moth. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Are you guys lying to me? I want to check this out. We're going to put a uh, that arm. Um, oh, there's no grabbing arm, though. Grapple arm, propulsion cannon, torpedo arm. Can I seriously put this on here? Like, there's no way. There's no way. No, it doesn't, it doesn't go on here unless it has to go in one of these slots. No, it doesn't, it doesn't go on here. Okay. All right. Well, you know, I had to try because people kept commenting. They're like, you can put the arms on the, on the, on the sea moth. I cannot. I'm sorry. But I do need to make a prawn suit because crystal and sulfur, if I'm not mistaken, is under the, uh, under that green gassy stuff. And I'm pretty sure that wrecks my face if I go underneath of it. Okay, we're going to take a quick teleport over to our uh, power plant. Confirm. Uh, we're going to take a quick trip over here. Check out everything. Make sure everything's good to go. It's going to take a while to charge up because I am pulling a lot of power with the um, with that ion cube thing. All right, let's see. Crystalline sulfur, if I'm not mistaken, like I said, it's it's under it's in this area. Maybe I have a little bit in this. No, I don't. Man, I don't need much. I think I don't. I think I get. I think I hurt myself by going here. 
Yes. Yeah. That's affirmative. Definitely out you. You know what? I only need two. All right. There's one right there. Got it. There's one right here. Got it. Okay. I think I only needed the two. So <laughs> that's all I need. Let's head back. And actually, you know what? Since we're over here, let's go ahead and check on these guys. Let's make sure everything's rock and rolling like it should be. These are all good. Nothing says depleted. I'm looking to make sure nothing's depleted yet. Wait, what's the sign? Uh, processes, nuclear reactor rods. Yeah, no, none of these are depleted. Okay, so we're good. We're good. And we're back. Okay, so let's see. Did you make another one while it's gone? No, okay. Got to keep checking on that. It's only got a force like a four storage slot on it kind of stinks but you know it is what it is uh crystalline sulfur we have the stuff to make the fire suppression system yes those 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 torpedo arms those are so cool i love it so much one fire suppression system actually should we make the decoy tube upgrade thing too cyclops decoy tube upgrade increase the capacity of the cyclops decoy tube loading tube sure let's just make let's make all the upgrades fantastic i don't think i've ever literally ever used the decoy tube before <laughs> so uh it's gonna be interesting okay so let's go ahead and put that in there put that in there fire suppression systems are online decoy tube look at that it can hold five now nice how are these things looking all fantastic good 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 all right now shield generator sonar depth module okay so a couple of upgrades we need we need to get the map out here we need to get where is life pod two do we have uh proposed agassi base life pod 12 three do we not have a life pod two yet is that not a thing No, we don't have a life pod too. Okay. Alrighty then. That's where a depth module would be. So let's go to, let's get biome. Okay. We're going to go look over here, uh, underneath of the floating island. That is the wrong way. I need to go this way. Right? Cause this is the floating island area. I think, I think we're going to look under there because there's a, uh, there's a big wreck under there. I believe that's where you can get it as well or or something i don't know which one it is <laughs> hey look at this wreck hey there's some propulsion arm fragments uh let's grab those let's grab them i don't i don't think we got these did we oh yeah apparently we did <laughs> darn it not exciting Ooh, data box uh let's see what's in this data box what we got here something we already knew apparently darn it all right you know what we might uh, let's take a look inside of this thing there might be some good stuff in there you know what's really interesting is it says this might be the uh the travel because the path of a bottom dwelling life form uh i don't know what life form that is exactly oh and there's uh there's more blood oil, blood force thing over here. Where are we exactly? Oh, we're down in the air. Okay, we're down in the area that we were in before. <laughs> I was so close. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ow, I hit a thing. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, let's see what we need to get inside of this guy. Entrance, entrance. How do I get in this? Is there not a way in this? Maybe this one doesn't have an entrance. Oh, yes, it does. There's a door right here. Heck yes. All right, let's go check it out. Let's see what we got. Uh, you know what? Let's get out this guy so we can actually see what the heck's going on. Uh, propulsion arm fragment. Nothing there. Nothing there. Not looking for any of that. Lots of debris and crashes. Can we swim through this? Okay, we made it through. We made it through! Uh. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of anything in here. And then it just. <laughs> just get pooped right out the bottom. Can't go up. 
We just went over. Oh, we can go up. Okay. Oh, PDA. Mm, let's cut through this door. All right. Well, what's through this door? Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, Cyclops Shield Generator. Nice. I was kind of looking more for the um, depth module. But hey, you know what? I will take it. I will take it. Um, Is there anything else? Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, so we could interact with this and it would give us a depth module. That would have been so nice. Anything else in here? I mean, I know there's a prawn suit. I've already got the prawn suit though. I don't need to, I don't need to scan the prawn suit again. I think that's it for in here. I don't think there's anything else, but hey, we got the shield generator, which that's going to be super nice. Uh, so we can protect our Cyclops whilst we're battling the depths, the creatures of the sea. All right. I think that's everything here. Well, that's okay because we did get something that we were looking for. Uh, but now let's see. Last thing I'm looking for. I need a depth module. Hmm. So I'm trying just to look for some wrecks that I haven't been to before. Um, and I'm just kind of going out, in, going out in areas I haven't been to before. Of course, that could also be very bad because I might get eaten by something. Oh, I hear, I hear Leviathan stuff. Oh, here's a wreck. Yes. Not positive. But, uh, this wreck might be worth it. I don't know. We'll go, we'll check out this wreck real quick. Oh yeah. There's our, uh, Leviathan buddy right there. I will take you out. I can, I have the ability. I should just take it out because it's going to scare, it's, it's going to scare me. It's going to scare me. What is how, what's the proper way to get into this thing? Ouch. I keep hitting stuff. I need to stop hitting stuff. I think it's up top. Okay, I'm making sure there's, there's no other, like, big nasties around here. I don't see how to actually get in this thing. Oh, it's right here. That's how you get in. Okay, where's that Leviathan? Ugh, it's closer than I'd like to leave it, but it is what it is. I'm gonna take this guy out. Get out of here. This one won't die. Or it's just bugged out. Okay, do I have any food in my inventory? No. All right, we got to do this quick. All right, data box. Uh, we got a reinforced dive suit. That's handy. Okay. Um, is there anything else in here? Is there anything in this that I can take? No, I gotta, I gotta be quick. Uh, what's in here? No, it's not what I want. Let's cut open this door and let's see what's back here. Okay. All right. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Anything good? Uh, I can scan this. Okay, looks good. Anything else? We got some hats. Hats are nice. <gasps> Is that a grapple arm? Oh, no way. That's a grapple arm fragment. Heck yes. Power cell charger fragment. That's the second one of second one. Oh, this was a great place. This was a great place to go to. Uh, I don't think we can activate any of those doors. I think this is all done. Uh, we can open these, I guess. Oh, did I get food from any of those? Of course not. That would have been way too handy. All right, we got to get out of here. I'm about to die. All right, we're going to head back. I don't have the depth module yet. We will, uh, we're going to have to come back out and find that thing. But I got to get food. Come on, need food, need food. We need it now. Come on. <laughs> We're so hungry. All right, let's get this. Delicious. Stabilizing. 
All right, we're good. So we got the shield generator. Let's at least get that thing built. What do we need for it, actually? Uh, prawn suit grapple arm. We have all the arms now. That's super nice. Where is the shield module? Whole reinforcement. That's those are vehicle upgrades. I thought it would be right there. No. Oh, actually, we need to get this reinforced dive suit as well. All we need is synthetic fibers for that guy. Heck yes. Shield module. Uh, polyenylene and advanced wiring kit. What is polyenylene? It's hydro. It's hydrochloric acid and gold, right? Pretty sure it is. Let me grab some uh, acid shrooms out here. I think it's three for hydrochloric acid, and I think it's one gold for the polyenylene. Polyenylene, hydrochloric acid, and gold. Heck yes. All right, we're good. We can build the shield generator. That is fantastic. If you have weapons, you gotta have shields. You know what I mean? You can't have one without the other. That's just not right. And one shield generator coming on up. Man, I gotta say. So I have noticed with all of the mods that I'm playing with right now, when I start the game, uh, it runs pretty good. But the longer I get playing and the longer I get recording, the more like stuttering and like kind of like weird little things keep start happening. Uh, and I'm starting to hit that point now. Okay, let's put that in there. Fantastic. Now we should have the option for the shield, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, shields right there. Heck yeah. So like sound horn, like they shouldn't still say sound horn. I should, you should say like shield, uh, decoy, silent running, camera, and uh, weapon turret. Ooh, oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. I love it. I'm loving this. All right, you know what? We've got to go. We got to go take out something. We have to take out something. Um, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go find something to, to shoot at. All right, we're we're working our way over to uh, towards the blood kelp, like the entrance to drill three, because that's where like there's um those worms and those like octopus things, all those like weird things over there. We're gonna we're gonna go uh, <laughs> we're gonna go do some testing with with our new fancy laser cannons. Oh, it's going to be fun. We're going to park this. We're going to hop in the hop in our little turret and just go to town. So in the last episode, when I was talking about the speed upgrade that we didn't need it. Yeah, we need it. Mm -hmm. We definitely need it because this is this is so slow. It's so terribly slow. Yes, yes, here we are. I think we might have some victims down in here. Not victims, test subjects. They're test subjects fully willing to be tested upon because they are here and they want to attack me anyway. So let's go ahead and sound the horn. Uh, let's put up shields and let's get into this guy. Oh, oh, I can't get you. Move, get down. Oh, that was a one shot. That was a single shot. Oh, that's not a single shot. Oh, that's two. <laughs> this thing is a beast. No way. Oh my gosh. This thing is an absolute monster. <laughs> oh, they don't even stand a chance. Oh my gosh. That is, that is good. Cause I mean, even with those worms like that, it was at least, I don't know, eight, nine, 10 shots before like it would take those out. This is two shots. That makes me wonder how fast we could take a Leviathan. Wait, can I? Oh my gosh, I can pilot it while still in action. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. We're going down. We're doing this. We're checking out more. We got more testing required. Holy moly. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, did I not get you? Hey, get get gone. Okay, there's like a range. I'm not I'm not hitting it. Is the problem? Maybe I'm hitting like the Nope, I hit it that time. Okay. Oh, look, a little squid. I don't think so. You're gone. Warper? I wonder if we can take out a warper. I don't think I've ever actually successfully killed a warper before. Uh, we got a warper. Oh, 
it was it was it we had it we had it oh my gosh this is amazing i wonder how much power we've used though by doing this because i bet you these things suck the power down oh that is too cool that's too cool you know what let's let's make it daytime so we can actually see something there we go there we go now we can actually see around a little bit all right let's see let's get down here I actually kind of like piloting it from like this like it's it's actually quite nice and that guy just swam into a rock that's not even fair oh that guy just swam into a rock too get back here hey hey get back here oh i part like i want to go in there and fight the uh the ghost leviathan <laughs> i want you so bad come on bud get out here come on buddy we can talk about this right no maybe you want to get out of here let's do it come here get over here oh he's gone oh there's a warper right there there's a oh he's back with a vengeance back with a vengeance and he's gone with a vengeance as well oh my gosh this thing is amazing okay hold on let's let's get out of here so what's the power looking like um oh i've been using shields this whole time Hmm. I bet that like just sucked our nuclear reactors down like pretty bad. Uh oh, it's not even that bad. Not even that bad. Not bad at all. Okay, all right, that wasn't too bad. All right, so I'm gonna have to head back to our base because we gotta do more upgrade stuff. I can't actually go much deeper than this because we don't have upgrade modules to go any deeper. But we did some fun things. We got an, a super amazing laser cannon on the cyclops i mean what more could you want i mean let's let's go look just look at these things look at those things they look like business oh they are business but yes thank you again for coming out that's gonna end the episode hopefully you had a fantastic time if you did make sure you leave a like if you're new here make sure you subscribe as well for some more it does help out the channel and i cannot thank you all enough for all the support thus far um but yes thank you again for coming out have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one